Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be products that I regret buying. Let's get right into it. So let's jump right in. I'm just going to pick out if they worked for you, that's great. But these products just didn't work for me. So these, I'm just giving you my opinions on them. So don't hate me for it. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just going to jump right in. The first thing is this e.l.f. product right here. This is the Smoothing Serum. The Smoothing Serum by e.l.f. You twist off this cap right here and you pull off this top part. This is how much product you're getting. I used about this much and it just didn't do anything for me. It's supposed to smooth your pores or, or smooth your skin for makeup application, but it just didn't do anything for me. I just... I barely used it and now it smells like really old so I just stopped using it so I don't think it did anything for my skin so yeah I just didn't like it this is like the travel size uh, one this is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel for combination oily to oily skin so I tried this out. I've tried and tried to use it up, but I just cannot stand it. I don't know what it is. I moisturize my, I mean, I, I wash my face really good in the mornings and I put this on, but it kind of gives me like a burning sensation. I just didn't like it. I don't know if it's the fragrance or the chemicals in it, but it just really kind of stings my face. So I'm just not going to use this anymore. I've had it for a while. I paid about $12 for it. So I'm really kind of upset about that, but no, I just don't like it. I don't, I used it under my makeup a couple times and it just didn't work for me. So the next thing is the Garnier BB cream. This one has SPF of 20 in it. So I don't even know why I bought this. It has so much SPF in this. Um, this is for combination to oily skin. It's in medium deep. It's supposed to be for medium deep skin tones, but look at how light it is. Um, I just didn't care for it and it made me extremely greasy so I just didn't like it and I have a full bottle of this which really makes me feel sad I didn't like this too much so I'm gonna get rid of this <laughs> maybe give it to someone that can use it the next thing is this I know this is probably everybody's favorite um, eyeshadow primer in the world but I cannot stand it this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion I try to use it up but I just can't I just can't this is the in the original formula every time I use this it just makes my my use it by the end of the day I have buildup of eyeshadow in the middle like a crease line it's very disgusting and I just did not care for this I'm just I'm done with it <laughs> I can't use it the one that I really love is it's the Essence Eye Heart Stage eyeshadow base is what I use every day and it's just awesome. It keeps it really nice. My eyeshadow just stays on beautifully and it doesn't give me any problems. This just does. I've tried every time to use this and it just didn't work for me. So yeah, didn't like it. The next thing is this Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss in Pure Peach didn't like it um I love the smell of this though it smells so good I love but this one is just weird um there's not much of a color payoff if you can see that that's a horrible swatch but that has doesn't really have any color payoff not too much it's very streaky and yeah I just I don't like this I can't even layer it with a lipstick or anything so I just didn't like this and I used my points for this. These are the Buxom Wildly Whipped Lightweight Liquid Lipsticks. Horrible. I did not like these at all. I tried and no. I just don't like the formula of these. It's just a kind of a thick whipped kind of texture. That's what it looks like. I just I can't wear that. I just can't. It's kind of when you put it on it's patchy and it just doesn't it doesn't blend out very well so, and another thing they stain and they transfer so that's another reason why I didn't like these so you 
Okay, the next thing is this Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush. This is in a purple haze, and it's kind of a purple to pink color. I just did not like this. Um, I was expecting a nice purple pink shade of color, but it's not. I swatched it, and it's just a kind of highlighter or something. That's what it looks like. It kind of blends just as like a kind of purplish highlighter. That's not what I was expecting. It says it's a blush, but it just, it's not a blush at all. So if you tried these out, I just, I don't know what the concept is. It just blends away to nothing. So yeah, that's another dud. The next one is this right here is the Fergie Wet n Wild on the edge long wearing eye pencil in I guess this is like a brown. It's called Space Cake. I really wanted this to work, but it just doesn't last in my waterline at all. It just, after a while, it just comes right off. It just blends right off. So, it doesn't, it says it's a long wearing kind of eyeliner pencil, but it's not. No, I do not like these. So, no. Um,. Some of the Fergie stuff is like hit or miss. I found this at Dollar Tree, I believe. Uh, the next thing I bought was the Hot Tools Curling Wand, the new one that came out. I'll leave a picture right here. Um, no go. <laughs> okay, um, the main issue was that, holy crap. I think it was a an $89 wand. I thought the price was really steep. It just didn't curl my hair too good. And another issue was the wand was short. It was like this long. It was very, very short. It was very hard for me to get all of my hair. My hair is kind of long. Um, I did like the concept of the heating. It had a timer where you can just leave it on to a certain um amount of seconds and it just vibrated which is really neat um, it heated up fairly fast um, the glove you have to have that glove on your hand because it will burn I I used it right away I used the glove and all that so you have to have the glove because um, it would get extremely hot it went up to like 400 degrees I didn't turn it up that much I think I turned it up to like three 30 or something like that but it just didn't um it just gave my hair kind of a wavy look it didn't really curl my hair too much so yeah keep that in mind but the next thing is this this is the last thing right here this is the NYX roll-on shimmer it says it's for eyes face and body holy cow I just went I just thought this was a cool idea where you can just roll it on your eyelid and go like it has like a glitter kind of thing but no this thing went everywhere I used this in my get ready with me video and it just went everywhere although it is a beautiful color the glitters just go everywhere but it is a beautiful color I'm gonna try to use this another way I don't know I'm just I'm really scared to use this because it just goes everywhere so this one is in the shade salmon so yeah, that's all of the products that just didn't work for me. I hope you enjoyed these kinds of videos. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.